Hi, right, what's up everyone? This is Grima from Synaptic Overland. I've actually have a couple of uh, different projects that I'm doing today. Uh, the first one is going to be installing this AEV snorkel for uh, the ZR2 Colorado. Um, while I'm in there, while I have to do some stuff anyways, I'm gonna remove the front bumper and put in a new transmitter for my wireless wench. Um, unfortunately, it was stolen from me. Uh, the controller was stolen when I was working. Um, but yeah, so I'll be doing that. I'm also going to install a 30 inch light bar on the CBI half bumper. I've got tools here. I'll let, uh, let you know what I've got. All right, for tools, I've got uh, um, some RTV sealant. I've got some dielectric grease. I've got uh, um, some anti-seize, all the drill bits I need, um, all the hardware for the AEV snorkel, rivet gun. This is not a Makita commercial, I promise. It's just the tools that I like. Um, and here is the snorkel itself. So, let's get started. All right, the first step is going to be to trim uh, the template out, and I'll show you what that looks like on the truck. You're lining up the template. They have some nice little uh, marks for you here and here that line up with this body line. This top part goes right up to the uh, edge there. Just like that, line this up with the door or with the uh, fender line. All right, once you're taped up here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. I'm gonna use a center punch just to give me a good drill uh, start. tire and the fender liner so that when I start drilling all of the metal shavings don't get all caught up under there. remove the fender liner we've got a lot of these t15 torques that i'll be removing here again there's one two three four five six seven eight uh, there's a one there one there so yeah we got some uh, work to do here fairing off and it does just pop out from there. If you're going to use a pry tool, just make sure that you're not marring the metal, but should be able to come out fairly easy. Like that. There we go. Looks like this piece pops off too. Good to know. Looks like that piece slides, but did not break, so we're all set. And then there is this little clip here inside the fender. Looks like it screws right off there to pull out this piece here, as you can see. But all these centers with a 1 16th drill bit. I've got my step bit marked for 3 8 For We've got one, two holes for the 3 8 
pulls. This is a seven eighths. And here we go. All right, next come in with your deburring tool and clean up all your holes. Just from tangent of one circle to tangent of the next. All right, so as you can see, the lines that we're going to cut on. Makita multi-tool um, to cut here. Let's see how it works. And then, deburr the edges. A little bit of primer on all of these edges, the bare metal edges. And once uh, that dries up, uh, or as that's drying up, I will take out the airbox. So we've got uh, this one here. Looks like we've got one, two, I don't know if you can see back here. Three and four to take the top off here. Might as well go for these rear. Once you got those four screws off, you can pry the boot off. It did not look like I had to take that connector off. Probably a good idea in case uh, you don't want to break it, but um, I just left it on there. You can take out my air cleaner. Doesn't look too bad. All right, and then for the box here. Looks like there are One, two. Right. Now's a good time to clean out uh, that bottom of that air box. Here. All right, so we have uh, the inside fender uh, where the air intake comes in. It says to trim about a half inch. I drilled two holes on the corners there. I'll just cut across there. Loosen this 10 millimeter in here to loosen the fender. All right, to loosen the fender, we've got a couple uh, 10 millimeter bolts here, and we've already gotten the one that's inside there. So here we go. for paint to dry I'm gonna take off these uh, three bolts here um, inside the fender I'm gonna be able to take off the front bumper so that I can uh, work on my winch controller there's some more t15s that need to be taken off to take the front bumper off got the uh, front bumper off here I've got the uh, head unit off there's some screws underneath that I'll be taking off to take this off disconnected 
Um, so yeah, here we go. Took the four screws out of the bottom to take this top cap off. Everything's connected on this side by uh, the switch. Uh, this is what I have to replace right here. It's got some sticky tape on the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of that first. I'm gonna cut off this zip tie so I can kind of see a little bit better what I'm working with here. All right, I'm gonna do these one at a time here. I'm gonna start with this white one. So that one's all hooked up now. I'm gonna clean up uh, this adhesive, put a new adhesive there, clean up these wires, and I'll get back with you. And I kind of marked where it was in the beginning. I hope I don't have to move it, but it was a little off center. So I'm gonna hope that that actually will uh, close here before I play with these wires. I'm gonna make sure that this goes on correctly. And it will. So a couple things that I've done uh, off camera here. I drilled my hole for the uh, upper bracket. Made a little gasket out of uh, RTV. Um, just letting that dry. Um, I did put in the um, tube, lower tube here. Let me walk you through some things that I did. I took off this uh, control box, um, put a new wireless receiver in there for the uh, wireless remote. Um, obviously I had to take off the uh, whole front bumper to get there. Um, so I'm gonna put that together now. Hopefully the paint's dry uh, by then and I'll finish with the snorkel. Your rivet tool. Alright, so it is ready to be put back together. Just waiting on some uh, stuff to dry. Done with everything.